Hi there, my name is Cunnenberg and welcome to my channel. This is a game review of GOMO, an adventure indie puzzle game. The de developer is Fish Cow Studios, the publisher is Daedalic Entertainment. It came out in 2013, mostly positive reviews and currently for $3.99 on Steam. Single playing trading cards for Windows Vista onwards and I played on Windows 10 and it was fine. For age 7 up upwards. How far would you go to save your best friend? The answer is clear, to the end of the world and further. So I've played the full game, it is short, uh, I think it was two hours for me, um, and that was because I got stuck on a puzzle for a good 15 minutes, so you know it can be probably a lot quicker. Uh, it's a fun little quirky game, you know, this blob thing, I'm not too sure, and you, you, you basically your best friend is your, is your dog, so it gets, it gets kidnapped by this alien, and for you to um, get your, your dog back you have to um, give him this crystal that you have to go and find. Uh, now, if you play on easy mode like I did, purely because I didn't know what the options were, it was it was selected as easy mode. I thought, oh, okay, I'll leave it as easy mode. Um, I think it removes certain puzzles, so it's not like it's completely easy. It's just that some puzzles you think, oh, have I got to do this? I had a, a puzzle with a walnut and a paperclip, but I never found the walnut or the paperclip, and it seemed to bypass it. So um, that's the thing. So if you want, if you want to play the full full game. Maybe to untick that, but if you don't know at the beginning, you know you just go through the motions and go, yeah, I'll just play. Then you don't realise that you're actually missing some of it. So it's it's ticked by default. So if you don't want it, untick it. Um, I mean, if you want to play the full game, untick it. Uh, there's not much in the options. I mean, for basically a point and click, and music's pretty cool. It's by Daedalic, so I like their music, I like their their games that they they publish. Um, the puzzles aren't exactly hard, except for the sliding one. The, you know, the you've got a picture and you've got to move the tiles around. They always kill me off. Whatever game I play, I used to hate them as a kid. I, I hate them as an adult, and I hate them. I hate them. I hate them. Um, so they're the ones that always loses my mind. Um, but it's a really good game. Now, when you play it, I unlocked a bonus game. So I thought, oh, is it like a full DLC? You know, like. Uh, you play some of the extra puzzles or something like that. No, the only DLC, the bonus game was like a whack-a-mole, just whacking the alien who's appearing out of a tree, and that was it. There, there was no real game, it's, you know, but even then that was fast, I couldn't even get most of them. Uh, but two were, unlo two were actually locked, that I wanted as well, but that's probably because I didn't play the full game, if you know what I mean. So there you go. Um, do I recommend this game? Wholeheartedly, yes. It's a brilliant little game, and it's for £4 on Steam, and that's full price. So, in a sale, I guarantee it'll be a lot cheaper. Anyway, hopefully you enjoyed watching this game review of GOMO. I've got other games in my uh, channel, um, a few by Daedalic, uh, and some quirky little things like this, I, I would say. Probably the other one by um, published by Daedalic was uh, Journey of a Roach. That, would be, that was a fun game, that's kind of sim not similar, but it's the same sort of style. Um, Give me a thumbs up if you like this video, leave a comment in the comment box below, and if you want to, subscribe to my channel. Okay, thank you and goodbye.